is going on guys welcome to the video and uh, sorry if you're looking for a car video today you're not gonna get it uh, this is a little nerdier tech talk today but uh, I figured because this channel is growing rather quickly um, a lot of you guys are new I figured I'd kind of walk you guys through what I used to film with I never really touched on it at all so I figured I'd give you guys a little walkthrough of what I used to film my car reviews with Starting with the big one, the camera. What I'm looking at right now, what I'm looking into your soul with is a Panasonic Lumix G7. So this is actually my new camera. Um, this is probably the, this is only the third video I've done with this camera. Every video you've seen prior to, I guess my intro to this camera video uh, has been shot with a Canon, aha! Has been shot with a Canon T3i. And uh, that was a great camera. I got it a long time ago and it was just a little bit old and honestly it didn't do some of the things that I kind of wanted my camera to do. Um, so I'm doing a lot of homework and obviously with a budget in mind, this uh, Lumix G7 has been one of the best cameras um, I've ever gotten. You know, it allows you to do 4K, 1080, 60, so you don't really get any kind of cool slow-mo, but the 4K on it is awesome and it's a lot smaller, I have autofocus, I can do face tracking, it makes kind of filming myself a lot easier. If you'll notice in some of my older videos, um, some of the in-car stuff I can be real blurry. Well, that was because I would have to reach across the car to you guys to try and adjust the focus and I couldn't do it. Whereas right now, I have the camera autofocusing on my face, so it's following me and my face wherever I go. So that makes my life a lot easier when I'm trying to film, knowing that I only have to kind of press record once and let the camera do the work for me, which makes my life a lot easier. So and then mounted on top of the camera, what you guys are hearing me with is a Rode Video Mic Go. So you have, I guess you have three Rodes. You have the Micro, the Go, and the Pro. And I went for the Video Mic Go mostly because I'm an idiot. And the Video Mic Pro runs on a battery. You have to turn it on every time you film. And I'm not the smartest person in the world. And sometimes I forget to turn the microphone on. So I had a different like battery operated microphone before this one. And I would lose all the whole video because you guys couldn't hear the thing I was saying because the uh, microphone was turned off. So now it's plugged into the camera. As soon as I hit record, it's recording. And I've never had an issue with the audio. I mean, some would say that different you know, microphones are better. I agree there might be a better one out there, but for what I need, for the, you know, everything like that, this one's perfect. So nextly, you have the tripod, which everybody needs a tripod. And uh, I have a Davis and Sanford Pro Vista 7518B. Don't know what that means, but I do know that it's a good tripod. Anything Davis and Sanford is really good. And that's the one thing I recommend to you guys if you're looking to get into filmmaking is invest in a good tripod because I've gone through a bunch of cheap ones from Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and the problem is, especially when you have a big DSLR, this Lumix is a lot lighter, probably not an issue, but um, with my slider dolly and my big Canon, what you would get as you would try to do these sliding things with these real small uh, like tripod heads is you'd get this rainbow effect going from side to side, and uh, it would make you sick. So one thing I would always recommend, invest in a good tripod because this, I, bought, I bought this one and I've never looked back. This thing's been perfect for me every single time. The other thing you guys are sitting on, and this is probably one of my most asked questions about my videos, is how do I get those slow slidey shots? And why, what I use is, I think it's called an indie slider from Amazon. It's like a hundred bucks. Um, and it's perfect. I've had it for a couple years now, and it does everything I need it to do. You can buy, you know, you can spend two, three, four, five, six hundred, over a thousand plus dollars for these crazy ones on wheels and stuff. And yeah, they're probably a little bit better, but honestly, with just a steady hand, and you know, you got to go over it a few times to make sure you get the exact shot you want. But with a steady hand and just being focused, this works fine. I have no intentions on changing my setup anytime soon when it comes to all that stuff. So when I'm filming the actual car reviews, that's when things get a little bit different for me. So a lot of people film the in-car stuff with GoPros. Um, and for those people, it's fine. I have no, you know, there's no issue with the GoPro. The quality between the Lumix and a GoPro and the in-car stuff is probably just that much. But it's just that much for a reason. Is that's why I film with the big camera inside of the car. And it's just me being OCD about stuff. But when I start my video, if I'm gonna start it with a super high quality video, I want the entire thing to be the same quality. So that's why I use my GoPros for mostly out, out of the car stuff, you know, looking for just like a different angle of the shot, pop, you know, any kind of exhaust stuff, you know, I'll put it down by the bumper. Any track days, you know, I 
put the GoPro outside the car because it's cheaper to replace than that camera. So I take more chances with the GoPro than I do with the with the big camera. So let's actually go inside the car now and I'll show you exactly how I set this camera up inside the car um, for my videos. All right guys, so sitting in the car, this is what it looks like. So the lens I'm using on my camera, just the kit lens, it's a 14 to 42 millimeter lens. I have a wide air angle lens on the way so you guys can see more. Um, I don't really need a wide angle lens when it's just me in the car. But when I have two people in the car, sometimes we both can get cut off a little bit. So I have one of those on the way so it should give us a little more angleage. A wider one to see better with. So we're gonna switch over to the trusty iPhone here and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from my point of view. Alright guys so here it is so this is what it looks like inside the car also if you need a good secondary camera just get a friggin iPhone because god this thing looks so good. Anyways so this is what it looks like so I said fat gecko triple section mount that's what I've got for that. Um, and then this is how the camera hangs. So obviously with the external mic on it and stuff like that, you can't hang the camera right side up. There's just not a good place for it. It's just too tall. So when you're watching all my videos, it actually looks like this. But what I do, and then my post in my, like, my, in my editing software, I can just go in and then I can just flip the video and then all of a sudden we're right side up again. So, and before you guys ask, uh, the editing software I use is Adobe Premiere Pro. Yeah. So anyways, that's what it looks like in here. So nothing crazy, but also kind of cool at the same time. I love when people get in my car and it's like, they're like, what is that mount for? Because the mount always stays in my car. And it's like, oh, you know, just for making videos. Not a big deal. So guys, that just about does it for me. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of the stuff I have, um, let me know. I'll try and put links. Yes, I will. It'll be a lot of work because it's dumb. But I'll put links for everything that I own in the description below so if you guys want to pick any of it up for yourself. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, let me know. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just kind of behind the scenes -y type stuff, um, I'd love to do that for you because I think that stuff's kind of fun. So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I think I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Bye. Uh, before we end this video, something I want to run by you guys real quick is I started playing with the idea of a few t-shirts. Um, mostly just for me, when I go to car shows and car events and stuff like that, I can wear my shirt, that way people know who I am, and uh, just kind of see a name whenever you see the guy walking around with the camera and the tripod and stuff like that. Um, so like I said, they're mostly for me, but uh, if, you know, this, so basically just the S550, Brothers on Wheels, a little like, YouTube play button on the sleeve. Uh, and then BOW on the back. So I don't know if that's anything you guys would be interested in. If you guys wanted one, I could make more. I guess. It'd be easy. So, yeah. So let me know if you guys would be interested in getting one of these. I can't imagine why. But if you do, let me know in the comments. Hello.